The days of the good, clean, fun Western are over, gang. Movies like The Unforgiven and writers like Joe R. Lansdale have made Gary Cooper cowboys as obsolete as pickles from a barrel. To top that off, iMotion is continuing the Alone in the Dark series in the so-called ghost town of Slaughter Gulch. Let's just say that rumors of the Gulcher's death have been highly exaggerated. Slaughter Gulch was founded by a vicious cowpoke by the name of Jed Stone. He done stole the territory from a bunch of Indians. Navajo to be precise. In fact, the land was sacred to its former owners. That may have something to do with the fact that to this day, no one dies there. So, did immortality give the citizens of Slaughter Gulch a more placid, meditative outlook on the world? Can you teach a bear to crochet? Nope, they was the same old mean nasty folks as before, and they just went ahead and shot each other same as always. They just didn't die. Lots of folks running around with bullet holes, ventilating their torsos, missing their heads, and stuff like that. So what does all this have to do with our favorite detective of the supernatural, Edward Carnby? Well, naturally, he gets caught in the middle of the whole mess, thanks to the reappearance of a character from Alone One, Emily Hartwood. Carnby ends up trying to stop Jed Stone from carrying out his plan to set off the big San Andreas quake and send California into the ocean. Even Carnby can't hope to hold out forever against these twisted cowboys, and eventually, he's going to get killed. But since he's in Slaughter Gulch, he's not actually going to die. With the help of a Navajo shaman, Carnby gets reincarnated as a wildcat and has to prove his valor to reclaim his body. And the town has already made itself a new, evil version of Carnby, so he's in for a very confusing gunfight. By the way, these gorgeous pen and ink backgrounds were created by French comic book artist Joel Mouclier. They were used to aid in the set construction, but iMotion liked them so much that they'll appear in scanned form in the title sequence of the game's floppy version. iMotion says that Alone 3 will mark the end of the current trilogy. Does that mean no more Carnby? Absolutely not. The series will continue, but Alone 4 will use a completely different engine that will use many more polygons in the graphics and will allow the player full control over the camera angle. Alone in the Dark 3 will contain every staple of the traditional western gold diggers, a crazy banker, a saloon full of traps, sharpshooters, you name it. There's even a tribute to Sam Peckinpah in a slow motion gunfight sequence. All these elements are mixed together and then given the trademark Carnby twist, so you can never be sure what's going to happen next. Dark 3 will be available this winter, so practice your draw, partner.